Let's talk about pregnancy. We're not gonna talk about how you get pregnant. We've already done that. We're gonna talk about being pregnant. Specifically, 24 weeks pregnant because this is my 24 week bump date. So, it's pretty much as the title says. Here's the deal. All right, 24 weeks pregnant. Pretty simple symptoms, okay? We're gonna keep it real straightforward. We got some notes. We're gonna look at the notes. Where are the notes? Okay, got the notes. So I couldn't sleep, I'm peeing a ton, I have to sit down after I walk a long time, and I have a freaking Audi for a belly button now, the baby's moving big time on the outside, and I got hypno babies, I got a birthing ball, and we're almost picking a name. You're not so lucky. Um, I'm actually gonna talk about each one of those things. So 24 weeks was, I felt pretty pregnant in 24 weeks. I think that's gonna continue only for me right now. But actually my symptoms were so minimal that there were times when I would like completely forget I was pregnant. I'd be like past the heroin. Oh, I forgot, I'm pregnant. Maybe not, but I would just for kind of forget that like I was two for one right now, which that's cool. You know, like when you're in your first trimester and you can hardly open your eyes and you're throwing up constantly, you don't forget that much. So my symptoms were pretty minimal, honestly. I started having trouble sleeping but I think it had more to do with, I started taking this like Kroger brand Unisom and I usually take Rite Aid Unisom. And I, I know, but I take it pretty much every night. My doctor said that was totally fine. Um, it's essentially Benadryl. And when I lay down, I have like, I get kind of congested. So it helps both ways and I sleep really well. Um, taking it, once I started taking the right A kind, I was better. I also started doing guided meditations at night. I'll talk more about that in a second, but that's been helping a lot. But there was a stretch there where I was like not sleeping at all and it was, it was horrible. Like I wouldn't get to sleep until like 2 a.m. Um, which um, did not like. So it was a symptom there for a second. I don't know if it really had to do with pregnancy, but probably. I always heard the pregnant women pee a lot, okay? They do, we, we pee a lot. But now I'm peeing much more than ever. Um, and it's to the point where I feel like I have to be, I have to be right now, I have to be. And then I go and I pee like two tablespoons and I'm like, really? That's it? Like I at least wanted to like, if you pee a lot, you can kind of get it over with for a while, but no. <sighs> anyway, the baby's so low and sometimes he'll just sit on my bladder and I'm like, try to talk to him in a very positive, loving way and ask him to get off of my bladder, but he doesn't always listen. So I have found if I like bounce on my birthing ball, which I got this week, that's part of my bump date, is I got a birthing ball. And I blew it up myself, because that was really hard. And um, I've been sitting on it. So I sit on the birthing ball when he's on my bladder, and that tends to help. But unfortunately, when I get off of the birthing ball, he just like goes right back to where he was. He's like, mom, no. Back on the bouncy thing. Back on the bouncy thing, mom. No. Okay. So I try to walk every day, um, which is fairly easy because my husband is a runner. And so a lot of times he, well, I would say pretty much every day he goes for a run. And then when he comes home, he'll take me and the dog on a walk. But I'm like, I walk myself. We go with him. I walk with him and we bring the dog. Um, and we walk, I don't know, a mile or mile and a half or so. Um, and I'm getting to the point now where I kind of have to take it easy sometimes. Like I can start out walking really brisk and doing whatever. And then I'll be like, I gotta walk a little slower now. And it really annoys my husband because he likes to speed walk, I guess. But what can I say? It's, I'm symptomatic. Hashtag bug day. One really weird symptom is my belly button is coming an Audi. I didn't think it would happen quite so early or I was hoping it wouldn't happen at all because it kind of weirds me out. Um, I don't usually like bear my bump on the video because I have pictures for that and stuff, but I'm actually going to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so it's usually like this big like hole, right? And now it's getting to the point where I don't know if you can like see from the side. See, it's like, I'm so pale, you guys. So it's becoming an Audi. Luckily, the Linea Negra is pretty pale still. So I'd rather have an Audi than that. But I'm sure that's coming. 
no more bum for you. So that's pretty much it for symptoms in terms of the baby. He's getting really big. He's getting pretty big. He's like almost two pounds now, which was pretty heavy. I mean, he's only gonna be like eight pounds. He's just gonna start putting on weight like, like his mama pretty soon. That's pretty exciting that he's like baby-like now. And he's always been pretty active. But his movements I can see big time from outside now and I can actually get them on video. He doesn't always just stop when I video them now and I have a few on my channel so you should check them out. And there's been a few that are really creepy. So if you're not pregnant, it's not as sweet as if you are pregnant because if you're pregnant you're like, oh it's his little head, it's his little hand, it's so cute. But if you're not pregnant you're like, that's an alien inside of you. You should get that checked out. That's cool. Good job baby. Positivity. So um, during 24 weeks, I yay, got my Hypno Babies home study. Um, I've been looking forward to this for like, since probably I was like six weeks. I talked to a friend um, and she really recommended it. She uses it for her babies and um, it worked really, really well for her. And we don't actually have Hypno Babies classes where we live. So um, I took Bradley class and I'm really glad that I did. But now I'm doing the Hypno Babies home study, which essentially uses self-hypnosis to administer hypno anesthesia during birth and it sounds like a lot of hippie crunchy mumbo whatever but please go on youtube you're already on youtube just go to the search bar and type in hypno baby's birth and you will be blown away i mean these women are like nine centimeters or like they're in transition they're like pushing and they're just like it's insane. So essentially what Hypno Babies is, is every day you practice using guided meditations to induce self-hypnosis and it sort of like reprograms you or not even reprograms you, but unbrainwashes you from believing that childbirth has to be painful. So totally fascinating. And so far I love it. I'm gonna do more videos on Hypno Babies um, as I get further along in the course, but I got my Hypno Babies. I ordered it used off eBay. because so we've already spent, you know, like 200 bucks on Bradley class. If it's the same thing, why not just buy it used? Super duper excited about that. And of course I got the birthing ball because I'm doing spinning babies. I have several friends who have had trouble with the positioning of the baby. So I wanted to make sure to follow the spinning babies kind of like guidelines and daily recommendations to just prevent that from being an issue at all. It's better to just do all of the exercises now instead of kind of like taking the wait and see approach besides all of the spinning babies recommendations are good for pregnancy anyway. So, and the last thing is I started doing prenatal yoga every day. Um, I didn't do it yesterday because it was a Sunday. It's really hard to do it with my husband here. I'm like, honey, be quiet and don't watch me as I like close my eyes and sit in Sukhasana. Like, I don't know, it's just hard. So I've been doing prenatal yoga almost every day. I actually read a study and you can learn more on this in my prenatal yoga benefits video that women who did prenatal yoga reduced their labor by two and a half hours. So that's exciting. It's also really good for the spinning babies kind of curriculum. So I've been making an effort to do it just every day. Um, I try to do it in the morning because then it's kind of like over with and I feel great the rest of the day. I've been mostly doing daily burn prenatal and yoga download prenatal. So highly recommend it and you should definitely watch the video. Um, if you learn anything from it, thumbs it up, because that's what I live for. That's pretty much it. I always say it's going to be a super short video and then it ends up being like 12 minutes. So, hey, guess what? I'll see you next week. Thumbs up this video if you didn't absolutely hate it, you know, because like only jerks thumbs down videos. Why? It's a bump date. I can talk about whatever I want. If you don't like it, don't watch it. If you like it, you're amazing. I love you.